beautiful crafty friends. You guys, I sure have missed you. Oh my gosh. I am the worst paper crafter in the world. Well, no, I'm the worst YouTuber. Let's put it that way. I'm so good at going and buying all the goods and buying all the papers and all the fun stuff, but I'm not good at sitting down and creating. I've been struggling a lot lately, you guys. Um, I'm back to, you guys know I'm back to work and kids and hubby and home and your household chores and all of that stuff. It's so hard to find time to sit down and create. You guys heard me say this a million times before. But anyways, I thought I would jump on here and just do a little chit chat. I had to go to the doctor in the next state over. I'm um, an hour away from home and I'm bored. I'm so bored. There's nothing on the radio. I listened to my playlist on the way here. Um, I got to go to Hobby Lobby in Michigan. And I tell you what, I am so excited that they got all their good Christmas stuff out. Um, I agreed to do a swap with my crafty idol. <laughs> oh my goodness. So um, you guys, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm sure you guys have heard of her before. She's been around for a while. Her name is Rena, and her um, channel name is Scrapbook Fashionista. And I just, I adore her style. I love her personality. I love everything about this lady. And I've watched her for a couple of years now. And um, she's really inspired my craft room. She has inspired a lot of things. Um, a lot of my creations. And I just, she's my crafty idol. So she came back to paper crafting after going and doing a huge move up in the mountains with this gorgeous home that her and her honey built and she's finally back to paper crafting and i'm so excited you guys if you watched my room tour um, my craft room tour you would have seen the banner of the um oh the hot air balloons <clears throat> that she sent out to me and i i have it on my wall proudly I just oh I adore this lady so on one of her videos she said that she would since she's getting back into crafting that she would like to do a swap and girl I jumped on it I emailed her and I was like um here's some of the stuff that I created here's my YouTube channel I would love to swap with you that would be a dream come true she probably thinks I'm nuts but you guys, I've already had two coffees <laughs> to keep myself on this road trip here. But so you're getting extra Amanda today, um, like any other day. But we have, um, so she's like, yes, but I don't necessarily want to swap. She kind of downsized. And when she downsized, she did a D stash and she got rid of a lot of her crafty goodness. And so she's wanting to create for someone in exchange for crafty products. And I was like, yes, even better because I don't really have time to sit down and create, but I sure do got time to shop. Y'all know how that is. <laughs> so I went to Hobby Lobby and I found so much beautiful Christmas stuff that I know I'm going to enjoy and I got a lot of stuff for her and I'm just so excited about it you guys uh, I cannot wait to do this haul I think my total after my my total was $171 um, and I bought some big items I got some vinyl I got a blanket um, I got some I got some bigger items too so I mean that's not bad I had a $25 gift card from my wonderful mother-in-law or soon to be whatever you want to call it we're not married but she's been in my life for 11 years now and I am so it brought my total down and I cannot wait to show you guys all the great finds oh my gosh I have a bag right here I know you're not supposed to do this while you're driving but y'all you know me I mean come on are you kidding me? How freaking cute. And then those are wood. Use the left lane to take exit eight. Look at it! You guys, I'm so in love. Poinsettias. Yes, ma'am. Oh my gosh. There's this one thing that I got. Um, you guys see me haul from the little Christmas tree um, place or their little stuff. Oh, what is it? The little ornaments that I like to use on my projects. Um, they have the most adorable little pink reindeer. 
oh, it's to die for. Some more little flowers. Like, girls, I went ham. I went ham. I spent my whole afternoon in there. I swear I did. I got, I mean, I just went crazy. I got three huge bags behind me. Um, and I can't wait to show you guys. I am just better at hauls than I am at project chairs. Because <laughs> I don't do projects. I don't know what's wrong with me. So anyways, what's going on with my life? I am working, working, working. I work in sales and I, I'm i usually about the top to top to third. Uh, well, I wouldn't say top. There's two other people that are really good at it too that are always my rivals. Um, well, three. Anyways, I'm usually pretty good. But it's kind of hard when you work in sales because you crush it one month and you do great one month and it's a monthly goal. And the monthly goal, you know, you have to, you got to start all over again. So once you crush it and you think you did good and you finally think you can breathe, you can't. You're doing it all over again. And that is very tiresome after six years. So I did get a vacation. And, um... On my vacation, I did a lot of relaxing. I did um, a lot of housework. and But, you know, you go back to work and you're supposed to be refreshed, and I wasn't. And it stinks because I'm, I'm proud of what I do. I take a lot of pride in it. And unfortunately, in, the, in what I, the industry that I'm in, and with being sales, if you're having a crappy day, you really can't take a day off. It affects your numbers at the end of the month. And I feel like starting off with October, I'm not, I usually either start out strong in the beginning of the month and, and I do good and I stay steady or I start out slow and then in the middle of the month, I pick up and I start doing strong and I feel like October's like that, um, but I'm having a hard time getting back into the groove of things. And it's really difficult. It really is. I thought for sure the vacation is what I needed, especially after COVID, but it didn't help. And I'm, I'm a little, eh. let me know out there if anybody else is in sales, do you guys ever feel like, okay, I crushed it. I did great. And then, you know, you got to go back out and do it again. Like there's never a break. Do you ever get tired? But anyway, so on my vacation, I scheduled a family photo shoot and it was amazing you guys it was amazing last Sunday I uploaded a picture frame that I put together last minute as a prop and it turned out awesome I cannot wait to show you guys some of the photos I'll share them with you um, of the frame and how it turned out oh you guys best idea ever and I can't believe I found that frame on the side of the road it, it was amazing and then what else is going on? So we got, um, my son Landon is 16 now, is fully driving and blowing my mind. He's going to school. He's got him a little job and a little girlfriend and he's doing great with his truck and he's doing great with school. And I could not be a prouder mama. Let me tell you what. And then our, um, my stepson gets his temps like in the, two days. Like, where does the time go? These kids are just shooting up like weeds. Oh my gosh. It's like, I felt like just yesterday, they were six and seven, and we were going to pick out Power Rangers and Pokemon cards and, you know, going to um, Sky Zone and jumping on the trampolines. And man, it's crazy. It's insane. So anyways, we decided, um, that on my vacation we decided that we were going to redo our bedroom so honey has really invested a lot of time and a lot of money into our house to slowly remodel it so that when the kids are grown we'll be able to sell the house and get more than what we paid or what he paid because I moved into his house and we've redone the um, both boys' room has new carpet new paint new everything new trim new windows the outside has new siding. Um, the majority of the windows are replaced. We got insulation, which ruined my living room. I can't stand it. I, I need to get honey to get this fixed. Y'all have heard me gripe about this before. But um, we also are 
we've redone the living room. We put new carpet in the living room. Um, we got to do the bathroom, my bedroom, and the basement. He built me my craft room. So now we're focusing on the bedroom. And the bedroom is a lot of my decisions. And I'm a Libra. And I cannot make a decision to save my life. I'm telling you what, girl, we literally have six or seven different paint swatches on our wall right now because I want a gray, I want a medium gray walls with white trim. We bought a new bed from Ashley Furniture, which is a whole nother story, but I got time if you do, um, about the bed. So when Honey went to Sturgis, and you guys know that's where he brought COVID home from, Honey went to Sturgis, and before he left, we went to Ashley Furniture and found a bed that we wanted. And the bed that we want has no box screens, it has a flat bottom, and you just lay your mattress on the planks. Um, because our box, box screens squeak so bad, every time Honey gets out of bed, it wakes me up and vice versa. So we decided on this bed that has drawers on the bottom of it, so it has storage. Because our bedroom is a really weird laid out, it is awful. Like we have one big room and then we have a hallway with closets and then we have a door and the door goes down the steps and then if you don't go down the stairs you go out a little bit more it's like a loft and then you go down another huge hallway and you have a tiny little room so our it's it's really funky how it's laid and then up against the wall where you only have room to put a bed the wall itself is slanted excuse me sir get over did y'all see that Okay, so the wall is slanted, so we can't just put any headboard up against the wall. It doesn't fit. So anyways, long story short, we get this bed. It's got storage at the bottom, and we ordered it October, or I'm sorry, August 1st. They told us it'd be 14 weeks out. So we're like, okay, we got time to get our craft together and decide what we're going to do about this bedroom. So we get our craft together we go to pick out carpet we get two carpet squat swatches but we forget what color actual color of the bed it is go back to Ashley furniture to match it up with carpet and we go to check on the delivery date to see where it's at and the girl's like oh yeah we got your headboard and we're like headboard she goes yeah we we got your headboard and I was like no we we ordered and paid for the whole bed and she goes oh yeah, the girl didn't order your whole bed. She just ordered your headboard. And we're like, what? Are you kidding me? So we had to reorder the bed, which actually it was okay because the carpet ended up being two months out instead of last time they did it, they were two weeks out. So ended up working out. But now we got the carpet choice. We got our bed ordered and now we got to pick paint. And I cannot pick paint to save my life. All these light medium grays are pulling blue to me like my craft room that's what I wanted in my craft room was a light medium gray for my pinks and my mints and every last one of them is pulling blue my craft room did not turn out that way which I was really upset about but I I don't know like I don't know what I'm gonna do about my paint I don't know what I'm gonna do I'm talking up a storm here that's what coffee does to me why well, should say espresso <laughs> Yeah, so that's what's going on in my life. Um, I gotta go home. Today's day off. I had that doctor's appointment and um, was so excited to go to Hobby Lobby and pick out stuff for Rena. Oh, my girl, you guys, I will link her down below. You have to go check her out. She's absolutely amazing. And um, I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna make dinner. I have to do laundry. And then I'm off tomorrow and I get to film and show you guys all the goodies from Hobby Lobby. Oh, I just love shopping. It's so much fun. Ah, it's so much fun. But I gotta slow down because I know Christmas is right around the corner and the kiddos are, um, you know, you always gotta do the Christmas good for the kids. Yeah, so, oh, another thing. So what else is going on is I want a new vehicle. I do, I have worked really really hard to get my credit up I was a single mom um, before I met Kevin and I ruined my credit with student loans and credit cards I really wasn't taught growing up how to manage your credit and I ruined it and so 
I've put a lot of hard work into my credit for the last seven years and my credit's finally where I need it to be and I'm so excited I'm so proud of myself because I mean that's not that's hard to do um, and I want a truck I want a 2022 um, either a Ford or a Toyota I love the look of the new Toyotas oh my gosh they're so beautiful but the reason I don't necessarily my I love a truck I got to drive one me and honey went on my vacation we drove a 2021 Ford F-150 and we we need a truck for our plans so our plans for when the kids leave is we would like to get a small toy hauler or a camper and go travel and take the bike with us okay mister you're gonna have to get up off my yeah mm -hmm. okay I'll get out your way um we're gonna get a toy hauler and take the bike with us and we need something that can tow it and we have a jet ski and we have you know a couple of other toys too that we need something good and reliable to be able to tow it so uh, that's gonna be my vehicle um, and I, I'm, I'm just over the moon excited because I'm finally in a place financially after all these years to be able to buy a brand new vehicle. You guys, this is a big deal. This is a huge deal for me and I cannot believe that I'm, that I'm able to do it. Like, uh, ah, it's so exciting. So some really good stuff happening. Oh, I just can't wait. You guys, let me know. I, I feel like, okay, so I'm six foot tall, um, and I'm a big girl. Like, your your girl is plus size, so I need a vehicle that I can spill small in, kind of like my Equinox. That's what I'm driving now, and, but this, tr these trucks, I feel like I am a badass Bia. Let me tell you what, I drove that truck, and I was, I had felt, I literally had heads turning, and I was okay with it. <laughs> I liked the attention. Um, obviously, I come on here and chit chat, and you know, all expressoed up, and you know, and it's such a good mood. But, anyways, I'm not a great YouTuber here lately, you guys. I'm so sorry. I do apologize. Um, everybody knows how it, how it is, though. You know, I was in a group with some amazing ladies. You guys have seen me collab with them before. And even that was a little too much for me to um, handle on top of a full-time job, full-time mama, full-time wife, full-time, you know. So it was it was a little too much for me to handle. So I had to back out of that and it broke my heart and I miss them like crazy, but it is what it is. I, I gotta know what I can put on my plate. So, all right, guys, that's going to be it for me. I got a turn coming up here soon. I took enough of your time, but that's what's going on with me today. Um, you are welcome for caffeinated Amanda. <laughs> I know I'm crazy, you guys, but you know what? I'm going to turn my music back on, and I'm going to enjoy my ride home because, hey, I don't get a lot of alone time, and I'm enjoying this. So, sorry, I keep looking at myself and not the... Uh, the camera but you know I'm I got my eyes going all over this road so I hope everyone is doing well staying safe and staying healthy until next time I can't wait to show you my Hobby Lobby goodies you guys I will talk at you later bye bye now